Hi, I'm David, I'm an illustrator. Uh, in my illustration process, there are four steps that I always take. It's the sketch, color plan, base color, and stacking layers on top of the base. I usually have a good idea of what kind of look and feel I want to create in my illustration. This time I'm going for this more mysterious, creepy kind of feel, but still keeping it cute, and I'm going to use purple as the main base color. Later on, I'll come up with a few different color palettes just to see if there are any other palette choices other than the one I have in mind. I won't be too strict when it comes to the base color plan because I'll be doing a lot of editing and touch up on colors later on, which is one of the most important parts of my creation process. After the base color is done, I'll start stacking layers like shadow, shades and gradient to add more details. Eventually I'll add the lights and gradient filters. This part can be a little bit tricky because I need to adjust the opacity specifically. Every adjustment on each layer will affect the hue and saturation. At this point, a good monitor is important because it will show you a broader color spectrum and allow me to choose the right color that fits the specific detail in my illustration. Especially if I want to post my work online, a monitor with an exact 100% sRGB can guarantee what I see matches the internet browser color spectrum. Also, since I'm using purple as the main color, Purple is a bit critical in printing and reproduction. It's a complicated color, especially if my clients are trying to reprint. So with an accurate sRGB monitor, I get more confidence with using these various purple color palettes. My monitor always plays an important role in my work. Sometimes it's difficult to tell when I'm increasing or decreasing the opacity. That's why it's important to have a good monitor. It always helps with those little details. See you next time.